When Micah Mountain and CDO meet Friday with a shot to play for the 4A state championship on the line, it'll be another marquee matchup, not just between the two of the best football teams in Southern Arizona, but two of the best football players as well. I'm talking about Kaysen and Caden, starting with Micah Mountain's linebacker and running back, Kaysen Colbert, a Kentucky kid who came to Southern Arizona a couple years ago and found a perfect fit with Pat Nugent's Thunderbolts. In 30 plus years, Nugent's coached plenty of talent. He calls this young man one of his top five players, a distinction that humbles Kaysen. As you said, he's been in for a long time, and so to be able to be called one of his top fives is just an honor to me. I've had great players with Tevis Brothers and Kadeem Carey, you know, Tamari Joyner, you know, those are all guys. But this is a young man that plays two sides of the ball for us. He's one of the best linebackers I've had, and then we put him at running back late in the season last year, and offensive player of the year in our region this year. Now with Kaysen as the 4A Kino Region Offensive Player of the Year, the Region Player of the Year honor went to CDO running back Caden Luke, a guy built like a truck who'd rather run over and through you than run around you. A rarity these days, to be frank, but a quality that perfectly fits Caden. How would you describe your running style? Uh, like a 90s fullback. You can play all the seven-on-seven -seven games you want in the world and throw the ball all offseason. But come Friday night, you got to tackle him. I'm kind of a bigger guy, so I can't, I'm not super fast. I'm not super agile, but I can kind of handle the damage to my body, running people over, and after every play, keep going. Coming of Mike Allstott, if you will. So Friday, it will be Caden versus Kaysen, CDO versus Micah Mountain. Remember last time these two played early October, the Dorados won by just two points, and Mike has been hoping for a rematch ever since. Figures it'd be for the state semifinals and a chance to play in the state title game. Kickoff Friday at CDO is 7 p.m. 13 News Live at 10.